To understand what the default app does, let's get rid of all the default code and rewrite it line by line while going through the concept. Make sure that you delete the associated test file as well. The entry point of our Dart code is the main method that has a void return type, which simply means that it returns nothing. Let's add a print statement inside it to just see some Dart code in action. To run, we can simply select one of the available devices in the list and then hit the green run button. Just like the main method is the entry point for Dart, the run app method is the entry point for your Flutter app. Run app can be imported from three packages that exist within the Flutter SDK, namely material.dart, cupertino.dart, and widgets.dart. Let's use the widgets.dart package for now. We'll cover the other two later on. To get inside the widgets package, right click on the package name and select go to declaration. Inside the package, we observe that it is simply exposing slightly more than a hundred useful packages from the Flutter framework. That being said, let's go back to the main.dart file and check where exactly does the run app method come from. This time, instead of right clicking on the method name, we can simply hold down the command key or the control key on Windows and click on the method name to navigate to its declaration. Right above the declaration of this method, the documentation tells us that this method inflates the given widget and attaches it to the screen. The given widget in this case is the widget that is provided in the arguments for this method, which in our case till now is app. You can easily navigate back and forth using the arrow keys in the toolbar or by holding down the command key and pressing the open or close square bracket keys. You can dive further into the implementation of the run app method if you're curious to see how it exactly works. A widget is a basic building block in Flutter that describes what their view should look like given their current configuration and state. Note that a widget is only responsible for the configuration of a UI element, but the actual rendering of the UI on the screen is done by something that's called a render object. Let's now make use of the material.dart package and check what's inside it. The material.dart file exposes over 100 Flutter widgets that are based on Google's material design. Note that it also exposes widgets.dart. Hence, if you are using material.dart, you can remove widgets.dart as all files from it are already included here. An interesting widget exposed by this package is the Flutter logo. Let's make use of that now and see what the app looks like. The app displays a big Flutter logo in the center of the screen. You can jump into the Flutter logo widget to check out the other styles it offers. Flutter also has a file named cupertino.dart that contains widgets based on the current iOS design language. Similar to material.dart, cupertino.dart exposes widgets.dart too. To see this package in action, Let's import it and replace our Flutter logo with a Cupertino Activity Indicator widget.